Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to cover a challenge many development teams face, how to properly display REST API documentation in Confluence. As you may know, Confluence doesn't provide a built-in way to easily showcase API docs directly from your open API or Swagger files, but don't worry, we have a solution that makes it seamless. There are a few scenarios where being able to show your API documentation directly in Confluence can be super useful. This could be developer collaboration, meaning your team can easily reference the API docs while working on different features all in one place. Product documentation to provide clear interactive API documentation for external developers and partners using your product. And client integration to give your clients direct access to your API documentation so that they can easily integrate with your services. So let's take a look at how this comes together with the capable open API macro. So here I have a Confluence page uh, where we're storing all of our API documentation for our team. And I've created two blank sections here for the Jira and the Confluence API. So in order to insert this macro, I simply type slash API, and as you can see, the capable open API macro shows up there. And if I press enter, this will then open up the uh, configurator tool, which lets me set up which file, which URL uh, that I want to pull the documentation from. So capable includes a few presets, but you can also enter a URL here um, to any Swagger compatible file. Um, and in this case, we're going to insert the Confluence REST API directly from this list. So if I click here, you'll see I get a nice preview here of the uh, documentation. And if I click Save, that REST API documentation is now included in the page. So um, let's take a look at what that looks like in the view mode here. So if I click on this one and I can scroll down the page, you can see I can configure the domain here. So I could set this up as test domain. And if I scroll down, I can actually see all of the documentation for uh, Confluence in this case. I can jump to any one of these, um, these REST API endpoints. And so if I click on this one, for example, you can see it gives me a list of all of the possible inputs here, the parameters for that REST API endpoint. And it will also give me the responses and also any media types here. So I can see a demonstration of what response I'm going to get back, as well as a description of all the different status codes. And this makes it really easy for your developers to access the documentation here and find what they're looking for and makes it really easy for you to share uh, API docs with your users or your company staff. And that's how you display REST API documentation directly in Confluence using the Swagger and Open API macro. This makes it much easier for your teams to collaborate, reference, and test APIs without leaving your Confluence environment. If this tip helped you, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more Confluence tutorials and productivity hacks. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see, and we'll catch you in the next video.